Good afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2011 Mitsubishi Pajero GLX wagon this afternoon. We'll start off at the front of the car. A few things to point out, our, our smoked factory bonnet protector. We've got the lovely chrome grille running through the front there. Also, that was standard in this model, that little add-on at the front as well. And then the driving lights adjacent on the side there. Finished in iron bark. As you can see, the pre presentation uh, is quite good for a 2000. 11 model factory alloy wheels uh, with good Dunlop all-terrain tyres on on the car as well we've got our side steps and then color coded exterior mirrors incorporating our indicolor indicator indicator and color coded exterior door handles as well as we move down towards the rear of the car no scratches on our rear alloy wheel either um, really good depth of tread on the tyres as well now they did tell me at the start of the video that this was a GLX but it's actually an RX as we get around to the rear of the car. A few things to point out, we've got the rear spoiler on our tailgate, obviously also got a uh, factory tow pack there as well, does give us the ability to tow 2.5 tonne also as indicated by the tow bar tongue on the car itself. Once again really good uh, depth of tread on the spare tyre also. And as we move around to the uh, passenger side of the car, consistency of the exterior is extremely good. Um, once again, no scratches on the uh, left-hand rear alloy wheel um, and only a very minor one on the left-hand front. But to the overall paintwork condition, as you can see, in extremely good order for a 2011 model. And just to recap, these are indicators. Just before we have a chat about the performance of the car, they were colour-coded chrome outer mirrors and door handles. So under the bonnet of the Pajero, we'll uh, just have a bit of a look around, talk about what it does do performance-wise. As you can see, common rail direct injection diesel 3.2 litre motor gives us 147 kilowatts and 441 newton metres of torque. It still delivers 9 litres combined per 100 k's. So considering you've got a fairly good sized fuel tank in the Pajero, 88 litres, um, going to get us probably around 978 kilometres to a tank of diesel based on the statistics we read. Now back around at the rear of the Pajero, we'll have a look inside the back as you can see, we've got the big barn door on the Pajero. At the moment we've got our seven seat configuration set up in position. Our headrests are actually stored down in our, uh, down in our cargo area that uh, gets created when the third row seats are up in position. We'll also have a little bit of a look at how we do operate the third row seats when we don't want them in use. So just a simple matter of releasing that and dropping the back of the seat down on the base and then we just release the base, slide our uh, cover out and drop our third row seats down into the back there. Simply replace our cover like that and it creates a really good storage area to put our cargo in. So here we are inside the Pajero now. We'll run through all of the features. More importantly, just pay attention to how well it does present. Uh, has been really well maintained. We will just lose the volume on our uh, stereo first. So on our driver's armrest, all of our power window switches, our exterior mirror controls there as well, uh, and our buttons for our driving lights. Our steering wheel is height and reach adjustable. It is also leather wrapped as well. Set ourselves up where we're nice and comfortable and just lock it into position. All of our cruise control settings on our right hand side of our steering wheel, all of our audio on our left with our Bluetooth buttons down at the base of the steering wheel. Now we'll move into the centre section. You've got all your information that feeds you, uh, feeds you the info about elevation from sea level, a barometer, uh, also does give you fuel economy, range to empty and so on. Does have the MMCS which is the Mitsubishi Multi Communication System incorporating satellite navigation. Does also have our reverse camera as well as you can see by the clarity in the picture behind. And then of course you've got uh, CD player AM FM stereo as well. Simple access to that is by just uh, opening up that uh, fascia of the screen and just lodging whatever we want. Once you've lodged the CD in there, it'll close automatically for you anyway. Climate control air conditioning, which we've obviously got running this afternoon. A small storage compartment in there. 
and then a 12 volt outlet just tucked behind that little door there. It's five speed auto in this particular model Pajero. Just drive it as an auto or bring it across into manual mode and change through the gears manually if we wish to. Got our park brake on our right hand side and then our four wheel, four wheel drive lever on our left. Little coin tray there directly behind that with cup holders as well. And then a very generous storage area in the front there, incorporating another 12 volt outlet in there as well. Now we'll scan around the cloth interior, have a good look at the presentation. Not only the interior, the door trims, the carpets, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it has been well, uh, well maintained this car. So uh, originally bought by us back in, bought from us, I should say back in 2011, I think the vehicle's also been serviced with us its whole life, so we'll just run through the uh, service books when my cameraman's ready. Six airbags while I'm waiting, front side and curtain airbags, and then our servicing all the way through, done at all the correct intervals, all the way. And having been serviced by us, you know that the proper Mitsubishi services have been carried out its whole life. This is giving you a great idea of our 2011 Mitsubishi Pajero RX wagon. Uh, really good service book, six airbags, presents really well and uh, certainly hope you enjoyed the video as well. So call us on 9907055 and we'll be able to assist further.